find a way to free dandelions in auto. Alright, let's have a little chat to the old, um... Um... Let's go. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is... Collusion with a score or two. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. <laughs> what? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Um... Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, a freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite <laughs> pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. Well. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margot! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to Aww. attention. <laughs> Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman. I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman. Shut it, all of you. Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't oh my god. People. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Oh. Leave the witcher be! Want to square with the others? Oh, okay. I get a little bit of a fight Come action on, here. Got room for one more Whoa! Here. Okay, I had to do two then. Uh, whoop. Anyway. He doesn't actually look like a particularly tough guard, does he? <laughs> No swords. Oh no! The elf boob lady go has got strangled. Crap. It's typical. Got to kill the executioner now. Oh my god. He's a bit of a tougher one. Oh! Oh! Crikey, I think I'm winning. Just about. Oh, I love that move, whatever that is. We like rapidly punch them in the uh, in the belly. And the headbutt. I've seen that one before, but you know it's a good one. Works. And this is the dodge, and then this is the wrestling stomp in the belly. Um. Okay. Oh crap. Some boss people have arrived. Obviously. What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? <laughs> is that Jolly Vegas? Without any hair. Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Oh. It's just us. You have no right to hang me. Interesting. Because I'm the Lorry Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the king. Well, well. Blue stripes. The non human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoyatel falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your yeah. jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. Oh my I god. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Richard. Listen here. 
You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalet Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders, prepare to fight, and ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse, go to your homes. Oh, thank you. Nice speech. You might as well have said outright that non-humans slew Foltest. My subjects know exactly who their enemy is. Oh. Out in that forest, grow careless for a moment, and you're a dead man. Whereas the non-humans here in town are all friendly. Friendlier than the merciless birds out there. We let the Scoia'tael inside, and they'll skin us alive, just before they slit our throats. Here, even the slightest sense of safety is an illusion. We'll not succumb to it for a moment. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. Thanks, Johnny. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we owe. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery neath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Oh, my goodness. A very well-spoken young dwarf. Oh, the tavern is right there. <laughs> wow. We're all heading in there, are we? Nosy sports can be a good source of opportunity. And contract. I'll take that. Necker contract. Oh my god. Proclamation of pardon for Dimitri. Uh, Intrepid adventurer. A troll contract. If you go to thewitcher.com. Typical. Um. Aha. Here I am. Oof. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold. Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Well, I've got fucked. There will be no wedding. <laughs> Did you hear about full test? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Well... Um... Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king oh was chosen. Goodness. Civil war was in the air. That's enough. Um. Well. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains. John Natalis. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. 
He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. Oh dear. That's enough politics. I think I've heard enough about politics. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the La Villettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just mm. felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltus might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. That was a weird one. No wedding, Zoltan. <laughs> the Breckenriggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Brecken grows and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Brecken says. Then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. <laughs> Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> oh god, this has got so much more interesting after the dwarf was away. added. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen Ooh, of the world. Sorry, no, as long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Lorido said you're working with the Skoya, tells Holton. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Skoya tell don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Skoya tell. Hmm. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorv and Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then mm. some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! Oh crap! Beast attacks. The beast. We better get out. Someone's oh crap! Out. Okay. Get up, Vern. Vern and Roach. Let's get out here. Crikey! What's that? A tentacle. Oh crap! Oh. <laughs> MP. Crap. Is this a sorceress? What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. 
Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Great Hello. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Shut up, you git. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. <laughs> Get out of my I'm face. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get ploughed. Come on, lads! <laughs> oh, what the hell happened then? I apologise for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairon. The beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the mm. river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. More the merrier, Your way I suppose. Is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. More boobs, the better. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. What is she wearing on her head? Sharp as ever. You're thinking it's a nice tattoo as well. Eyes, I like the tattoo. Blood, and like a ring of runic nonsense. Species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my, your sense of humour seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found... That thing was like pretty pathetic though. She just like lobbed one fireball at it and it buggered it off. Cedric claims the Kran Not exactly from the like worried about it. One month past. Cedric. An elf. Formerly a Scoyatel. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror. Well, there we go. Thanks for Lots to do, lots of monsters to kill, and things to... I think we'll have a little break first, but... Wow, okay, I've got a full quest log of monsters to kill. Awesome.